Hi, is this Connie? Hi, Robert. Hi, Woody. This is Christine Holquist. Hi, Steve. Jeffrey, J-E-F-F-R-E-Y. Hi, is this Shannon? I'm the uh, Democratic candidate for governor in the state of Vermont. Have you heard about my campaign? Certainly, I think we need to have leadership from the states at this point in terms of climate change. We are not taking uh, corporate contributions. And the latest polling shows were right you know, neck, neck and neck with our incumbent Republican governor. I'd love to talk to you about the campaign when you get a chance. Okay, thanks. Phil Scott is now going for re-election for the first time. He's an incumbent. He's relatively popular. Um, incumbents don't tend to lose in Vermont. And he's going to face Christine Helquist, who's a well-known figure in the state. But as somebody who's not run a statewide campaign in the past, she has her work cut out for her to make herself more widely known among the electorate. In a year like this, with an enthusiastic, energized Democratic Party base, in a very liberal state, can a Republican survive a national tide in favor of the Democrats? That's, that's the real question. We got into the campaign late in March. The old time politicals at Vermont said, oh, Christine doesn't have a chance. She's getting in too late. She's an unknown. Couldn't get people's attention. It was hard to get donations. It, it was just drudgery. We kept uh, motivating each other to keep our spirits up when you're feeling like you're literally pushing the rope up the hill. Okay, well, the, yeah, well, so the maximum donation is 4,080. So, so, yeah, so, I mean, you know, whatever you're capable of. All right. All right, well, thanks. Thanks so much for calling me back. Yep, bye. He committed in the next couple days. I'm only doing it till 3.45, so... Some days I sit here and do it for eight hours straight. But I don't mind doing it as long as I'm getting answers and you know, donations. This is like fishing for the big fish. You know, you don't catch, you might fish all day and not catch anything. Because I want Medicare for all, and I want a living wage, and I want to end homelessness. That's not progressive, folks. That's called a civilized society. And about two weeks before the primary, all of a sudden, you could just feel the, a wave of a momentum. Now, we got about 31 staffers at this point and hundreds of people in the field, hundreds of volunteers. So the momentum felt good and it felt positive, but I wasn't getting too excited. You know, I was skeptical right till election night. Uh, Halquist. 58. 58. Ellers. 36. Okay. Oh. Siegel. 28. 28. Sonneborn. 11. Votes? 157. 157. Brenda Ridley Winch in the county. Christine Halquist, 60. Brenda Siegel, 20. James Ooh. Allers, 19. Ethan Sonneborn, 6. 4 writers. Woo! You know, on primary night, I was in disbelief seeing, the, first of all, the volume of the turnout and how much we were winning by. I didn't believe it till it was announced. Since that night, everything's been insane. Vermont now has the possibility of voting in the first transgender governor. CNN projects Christine Hallquist wins the Democratic gubernatorial primary in Vermont. And history was made last night. Christine Hallquist became the first transgender nominee of a major political party. You know, tonight we made history. To win in November. Yeah. So last night we had a debate on the, one of the major news channels, WCX. Of course, anytime I do something on television, there's a whole his, host of vitriol that occurs afterwards. Okay, this one's loaded with stuff. So this is on our own page, just to give you an idea. So this is just on, a, on one of our video. Putting on a wig and a dress doesn't mean you're a woman. F fucking gross. Kind of looks like Alec Baldwin in drag. What a joke. Yuck. That's a dude. You're not going to validate me. 
I'm not looking for anybody's validation. I, and I, and I, you know, I thought about this long and hard. If I was the only transgender person on the planet, it would be no different. I don't need numbers to justify who I am. You know, I don't need validation to justify who I am. Once you become comfortable and very solid with who you are, it doesn't matter what anybody thinks. Vermont's pretty awesome. We have the highest education performance in the nation. We're the healthiest state in the nation. We're, we're the safest state in the nation. But at the, at the lowest runs of the economic model, we have to do a lot of work. I voted for Phil Scott, and I'm disappointed. This wasn't in my career plan. So I'm in this race because I've, it's an obligation to the people of the state of Vermont. The first Usually when Vermont politics gets the attention of the nation, it's as uh, some kind of novelty. But I don't imagine that those stories will play into the Vermont campaign much at all. People rarely fight battles here on social issues. It's mostly economic issues that people, people vote on. And that's why I say the issue uh, with Christine Holquist being transgender is going to be a non-issue, at least as far as the main candidates are concerned. And I'll tell you why I love Vermont, because we're the first, we've, we've always been a leader in civil rights. We've always been a leader in environmental issues, and we're, we're showing the rest of the country how to do good democracy. So, you know, I will tell you that I'm not going to cower in front of the headwinds from Washington, and I'm going to fight hard for the Vermont that I love and that has loved me in return, because I know that nothing is impossible when you're on the side of justice. Holy shit. I'm afraid to turn around. I know. It's unbelievable. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. I had tears of joy for the first half of that parade. And considering that's the parade that I came out to the world on in 2015, and here I was, you know, the Democratic candidate for governor in 2018, um, that was quite an epic moment for me personally. Oh, you're welcome. My goal was to be confident as Christine. Dave wasn't comfortable with his gender. Dave wasn't in a, a mental place where he could have run. So I'm in a much better place than I was with Dave. I have confidence that's related to understanding who I am. Thank you. Give me a hug. <laughs> Trans is beautiful. It is. Yes, yes. It is. Hi there. Hi. Thank you. And now it is my pleasure and honor to introduce Christine Hawkwest, the next governor of Vermont. Thank you. I believe nationally our democracy is hanging on by a thread right now. And I believe in Vermont, we, we are setting ourselves up for a very expensive future. This is a referendum on the future of our state and our country. I entered this race for my children and my children's children. So I, I am hopeful that we make change, but it's, it's all going to be decided next Tuesday.